This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather there, there, it's Jeff Cutter Diving. Welcome to another Sports Catastrophe birthday boy. Excuse me. The birthday boy today for June 16th is this man. He is a legendary manager, especially with Liverpool, one of the best in the world. He spent his career with Mines in Germany, became the club's manager, and helped them get to the top division in Germany, the Bundesliga, in 2004. He resigned in 2008 to head for Borussia Dortmund, trying to help them out, and to things, and was named Liverpool's manager in 2015, helping them out before just retiring from Liverpool, which is just shocking and all that. He's known for his enthusiastic touchline celebrations and all that, but his legendary career is there. At 57, Today, he is Jürgen Klopp from Stuttgart. So, anyway, Klopp basically said that he wanted to be a doctor, but then soccer was hit for him. So, he was signed by Mainz 05 in 1990, spending his career in Mainz with his attitude and commitment, making him a fan favorite. And he played for Mainz for 11 years, from 90 to 2001. He was a striker, but then dropped back to become a defender by 95 and got a diploma in sports science at the University of Frankfurt. He would be Mainz's record goal scorer with 56 goals in total. Klopp said he had a fourth division pair of feet and a first division head, meaning that he was more suited for a managerial role and all that. However, he did study to get his football coaching license. He, re he retired and became the club's manager in February 2001 and saw Mines beat Duisburg 1-0. Klopp would do pretty well helping Mines win six out of the last seven matches to avoid relegation from the second tier of German football. So in his first full season in charge, he got them the fourth, missing promotion by an inch. And in 2003, he also got them fourth place and missing out on a goal differential. Fortunately, the club got Mainz to the top three, which meant that it was instant promotion to Bundesliga. And Mainz finally got to the big time thing. Despite having the smallest budget in the smallest stadium, Mainz took 11th in 2005. That was enough to keep them there. In 2006, they got 11th and got qualification for the UEFA Cup somehow, but lost to Sevilla. At the end of the 2007 season, Mainz was relegated, but Klopp chose to remain with the club and failed to get them back to Bundesliga. He would retire, resign at the end of the 2008 season. Then he was approached to become the new manager a bruise of Dortmund. So, he had a fresh face for Borussia. Bayern Munich actually was interested in him. Klopp would sign two years with Dortmund. And, anyway, he took them the sixth place. And then the next season, they took fifth, getting European football. They shocked a lot of people by winning the 2010-11 Bundesliga, their seventh ever title, with two games to spare in 2011. So anyway, Klopp's side was the youngest team to win the Bundesliga. They defended that title in 2012, shocking a lot of people, putting up 81 points, the highest total in Bundesliga history. And this is including Bayern Munich. Anyway, they put up 25 wins that tied Bayern Munich's record. While their 28-game match on beating streak was the best ever in a single German flight town flight season, Dortmund would soon break that in 2024. Well, Klopp helped them in May 2012 win the domestic double by beating Bayern Munich in the German Cup final. So, by winning the competition, by the league, Dortmund was placed with Man City, Real 
Madrid and Ajax in the grip of death in the Champions League. They shocked a lot of people by not losing a game. They faced Real Madrid in the semifinals. They won 4-1 on home turf. Although they lost 2-0 in the second leg, they still won 4-3. And shocked a lot of people when Dortmund's player, Mario Gutza, would move to Bayern Munich. And he did not like the announcement because it was just a day and a half before Dortmund's semifinal with Real Madrid. Unfortunately, though, Dortmund would fall flat as Robin's last game as a Dortmund player before moving to Bayern was a 2-1 loss in the Champions League final to Bayern Munich at Wembley. Dortmund did take second in the Bundesliga. Anyway, it was it was shocking that Dortmund, Dortmund would also lose someone to Bayern Munich as Robert Lewandowski, the main striker, would leave for Bayern Munich. So anyway, Dortmund tries he might. He wasn't so sure about staying with Dortmund. His final match as Dortmund manager was in 2015 when they lost the German Cup to Wolfsburg. They would take 7th in the league and were knocked out by Juventus in round 16. He put up 180 wins as Dortmund manager. And then Liverpool in 2015 decided to take a chance on it. All that. So, anyway. Klopp that was of the normal one, hoping to get Liverpool in. His debut as a manager was a tie against Tottenham in October 2015. So, anyway. Liverpool would lose the League Cup final to Man City on penalties. Anyway. Klopp helped Liverpool get to the Europa League or like the second tier club competition in Europe. Well, they're to the final by being five real. They would face Sevilla and shockingly lose three to one. Sevilla basically owns that Europa League thing. Liverpool would finish eighth place in the league that year. However, he would sign a coaching extension for six years up to 2022. And Liverpool did qualify for the Champions League in 2017, being Middlesbrough, pushing fourth. So anyway, Liverpool in 2018 got to the Champions League final, taking care of Man City and Roma in the process. Unfortunately, though, club could not compete, and Liverpool lost the final to Real Madrid thanks to two carriers. Howlers in the net. This was Klopp's seven, six, seventh major final and sixth defeat. So he was one in six. He just couldn't do anything. All that he would sign goalkeeper Allison from Brazil to take care of Carriers. All that. So anyway, he looked pretty impressive in all of that. Liverpool would would win their final nine matches of the Premier League, putting up 97 points, which was the third highest in English top division history. The only problem was they lost the title to Man City. It was like shocking how they scored the third highest total in top flight English history, and yet they still didn't win the Champions League. He couldn't get success in domestic cup stuff either. But in 2019, they went to the Champions League. Well, they took second place to get to the knockout stages. They drew Bayern Munich and shocked Bayern Munich in their own backyard to get to the quarterfinals. They crushed Porto, then they faced Barcelona. After losing 3 0 in Barcelona, well, they were doomed at Anfield, but somehow they won 4 0, winning on aggregate. They didn't even have Mo Salah or Roberto Firmino. In the final against Tottenham, future of, um, 
like Premier League rivals. They won 2 0 thanks to Salah and Origi's goal. Giving Klopp his first trophy with Liverpool and the team sixth overall. He won the Premier League in 2020. Of course, that was the season where COVID would ruin everything in a sense. He took, they won by 18 points. He would have some domestic and international success the next few years. Liverpool had a double whammy in 2022. They lost the Premier League by one point. Lost to Real Madrid in the Champions League final 1 0. Fortunately, though, they won the FA Cup final on penalties against Chelsea. So he did what he could and all that. The fans were there and all that. The final game of the club was a win over Wolves at Anfield. A lot of people gave him awards and all that. Club was showered with a lot of replicas of the trophies here in the nine years of Liverpool. He encourages the fa he encouraged the fans to welcome and embrace the new manager and all that. He's connected to the club by being an ambassador at the Liverpool Foundation. The question now becomes, will he find another place to be manager? We don't know. Personal life, he's been married twice and having a son who actually played for some minor league clubs and all that. And then in December 2005, he married a social worker and all that. He has a Lutheran and all that. He was a match analyst for the 2006 World Cup. He had pro vaccine stance. As a player, he scored 56 goals in 346 career games, including six for Rotweiss Frankfurt in the third division. And then Mines. For the second tier of Bundesliga. So for Mines, he got the promotion to Bundesliga in 2004, which was pretty good. At Dortmund, he won two Bundesliga German League titles in 11 and 12. The German Cup in 2012 and Champions League runner-up in 2013 to Bayern Munich. As for Liverpool, got them the Premier League in 2020, FA Cup 2022, the League Cup in 22 and 24, the Champions League in 2019, and two runner-up finishes. And that's all I can say about Jurgen Klopp. He was the special one for Liverpool. Without him, Liverpool would be nothing. And you got to thank him for that. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond.